Hi, this is Manos Berlakis and Peter Taiti from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, and this is case 97 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case highlighting the importance of the donor vessel in CTO PCI. The patient had a mid right coronary artery CTO. The distal vessel was filling mainly via an epicardial collateral from the circumflex, supplying the right posterior lateral branch. The CTO had a relatively blunt proximal cap with um, small branches originating at the cap, bridging collaterals included in those. The length was about 30 to 40 millimeters. The distal vessel was of good caliber, although there was a lesion distal to the distal cap. We therefore decided to first attempt undergrade wire escalation and, if it didn't work, to convert to retrograde. And this is the area of view showing again the origin of uh, this um, epicardial collateral. It is small and tortuous, so it's not the best collateral, but there appear to be some chance of crossing this. So we tried to undergrade first, and um, we spent some time with wire escalation, but we were unable to achieve some progress, and that's why we decided to do a brief retrograde attempt. We, uh, we had a very hard time engaging this um, epicardial collateral, and that is why we used the Venture microcatheter, which is a catheter that uh, can be torqued in the proximal tip and then create a bend at the distal tip in an attempt to get into the branch. However, as is evident, the wire actually had a very hard time entering this collateral. So we stopped these attempts and then we resumed undergrade crossing attempts. We were able to advance the guide wire in the subindimal space, a stingray balloon was advanced, and then re-entry was achieved using the uh, stingray wire as well as the pilot 200 wire. After stent placement, a nice result was achieved with TIMI3 flow in the right coronary artery. The patient went to the recovery room. However, about three hours later, he developed chest discomfort and some non-specific EKG changes. So he was brought to the cath lab. When we did an angiogram of the right coronary, it was widely patent, although there were some subindimal dissections outside the stands, but there was good Timothy flow in the RCA. However, there appeared to be some retrograde filling into the circumflex. And when we actually did a picture of the circumflex, there was occlusion of the mid-circumflex right at the side where we had been attempting to go retrograde into this epicardial collateral. We were able to advance a wire through, place a stand, and a nice result was achieved restoring undergrade flow into the distal vessel. This case shows that donor arteries can be injured when retrograde PCI attempts are done. And that is why it is very important to do an angiogram of the donor vessel at the end to confirm that there is no injury of the vessel. This is potentially particularly true for the venture catheter, which has a fairly stiff distal tip. And movement of this catheter inside a vessel could cause a dissection, which was a likely case of occlusion in this particular case. What happened here, we had the collaterals going from the circumflex to the RCA, and those collaterals were reversed after there was um, cessation of flow into the circumflex, potentially preventing a full-blown ST elevation myocardial infarction in the donor artery distribution. Thank you.